What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach starting a revolution for young adults. Well, in fact, I started it. I started it eight months ago. That is such a scary thought that it's already May, and I started this Stick It in October. This is the second time I started a business, and I remember the first time, my first coaching business, it was crazy, and I learned a lot, and it failed dramatically. If you've seen me speak on any of that in any of my other lives, you'll know it was an incredible learning curve. Hey, Michael, it's just popped up that you're watching. An incredible learning curve. I started my first coaching business about eight years ago. And that's where I discovered my passion for public speaking. And, you know, there are ups and downs like everybody. And I didn't know anything about marketing. And that's probably one of the reasons it didn't go so well. But also I didn't tell anyone the sorts of things I share with you now. And, and so if you have seen those videos or you haven't seen those videos and those lives about my first business and the journey, especially if you're an entrepreneur yourself, you know, so many people who watch these videos and watch these lives and join me every day and part of the revolution, whether that's on the online programs, the events or private clients, have that entrepreneurial spirit. And that doesn't always mean that they're out running a business, but they have that flair. They have that desire to make a difference in the world. They have that want to be something bigger than themselves. And they have that almost drive to inspire the people they love. Good morning. The people they love to lead a life that you know they can be proud of and step up and achieve their dreams. So many people and pretty much everyone in the revolution and who is um, part of Stick It and part of that have that sort of flair in them. And so one of them actually reached out to me and sometimes they get topic requests. Sometimes they go, hey, do you have a video on this? This is something I'm struggling with. And this was something that someone reached out to me for um, to make a content around a long, long time ago, maybe a month ago, maybe three weeks ago. And I've just been sitting on it for ages because it's a really, really broad topic. Thanks so much, it's lovely to know. Thanks, Ajit. Um, it's a really broad topic and that's what to do when your efforts aren't feeling appreciated. Now, to be fair, this specific question that I was asked was around online content and engagement and it's a whole heap of marketing stuff that you go into there. It's not something you can really answer in a live. It's more something that if you want to know more about it, I'll put an event together. So comment below if you want to know more about online engagement and stepping up and being an entrepreneur and actually make it happen. If, if you're interested in that, let me know. But that's not what, exactly what we're talking about today. Today, it's about... What do you do when your efforts aren't being appreciated? And I have been there in my first business. I felt like I would speak or I'd post something on social media or I'd call someone up to, um, you know, a lead um, to see if they wanted an appointment or anything like that. And it was just crickets. Nobody cared. Nobody gave two hoots what I had to say. Nobody liked anything I posted on Facebook. Nobody, there was barely any traffic on my website. They loved it when I spoke, but I didn't share who I was. And because of that, it was really hard for them to connect with, with me. And as a result, it's really hard to give appreciation to someone that you don't feel connected to. Have you ever experienced that? You know, you really love someone or what they're doing, but they're just sitting there completely stonewalled. And it's like, it's really hard to give you a compliment right now. Thanks for joining us, Ethan. It's really, really hard. Anyway, so if you feel like your efforts aren't being appreciated, whether that's because you have that entrepreneurial spirit I spoke about at the beginning, or maybe you're trying to make a difference in your life, or maybe you're just trying to look after your family. Maybe for you, you feel like it's your path and your purpose in life to step up and look after the people you love the most and, you know, provide for them, whatever that means. And maybe that means working nine to five for you. And that's okay. That's completely fine too. And if you feel like your efforts aren't being appreciated, then this, this is the video for you. And I could stand here. Oh, I so could stand here and say to you, you know, just water off a duck's back and doesn't matter and head down, bum up and just keep moving forward. And thank you for whoever's sending me all the love hearts. I can't see who it is, but you know, I appreciate them. And just keep moving forward. And it doesn't matter what everybody thinks about you. You know, you know who you are. And, but, you know, uh, we are humans. We have emotion. It can't be denied. Does that have to need to run? Does that have to run your life? No. You don't have to run your life based off the way that you feel. But things hurt you sometimes. Sometimes things pop up in life and you have a reaction to it and you go, oh, ouch, that hurt. So I could stand here and say to him, blue in the face, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks as long as you appreciate you and as long as you love you. But it's not realistic. And so many entrepreneurs and hustlers out there are just banging on that drum, you know, just... Cast anyone who doesn't believe in you aside and just step up and do it yourself and then, then, then. 
pet peeve in case you couldn't tell don't love that way of thinking because it's not realistic we're all human we're all in this together thanks so much to the dude that's lovely and hey ray mar it's just popped up that you're watching we are all in this together so if you feel like your your efforts aren't being appreciated here's what you do right you say something and you don't sit there and you don't go you don't care about me and you don't care about what i'm doing nah -uh, that's just going to end in disaster but if you don't tell these people or tell whoever it is, your family or whatever it is for you, you know, talking about specifics, I said, we're not going to do the entrepreneurial thing. That's a whole other topic. If you want to know about content and what to do to get engagement, comment below and we can put something completely different together for you, like an event, because that's a broad topic. We're talking about in your life as a human being, if you feel like your efforts aren't being appreciated, Start the conversation and tell them because the chances are they feel like they're appreciating you and your love language is different. If you know nothing about love languages, let me know. They are massive and it's really possible that you're in a relationship where you feel disconnected and it's purely just because you both have different love languages and knowing them could change the game for you, could bring you guys together and set you on the path for happy ever after. But your love language may be completely different and that means that the way that you understand love to be received so you feel loved is different to how they provide it and vice versa it's not just you that applies to every human in the world so if you are not feeling appreciated instead of sitting there and going oh i'm just going to let it wash off me i'm just going to let it cast it to one side it doesn't matter or dwelling in it if you have any um predisposition to depression or um feeling sorry for yourself which i'm really good at sometimes feels like depression hey neil just popped up that you're watching and hey carly it's said you're watching too um if any predisposition to feeling sorry for yourself which comes in the forms of feeling lazy demotivated um i don't know what that is michael but thanks um i have to look that up i have no idea what that is um yeah, if you're feeling demotivated, it's hard to get out of bed in the morning. You could be one of those ones who think they have depression, but actually just feel sorry for themselves. Often feels really, really similar, but very, very different things in treatment wise. Then just start a conversation. Don't dwell in it. Sometimes just putting your hand up and saying, hey, I feel like I'm working really hard to provide. I feel like I'm doing um, some really important stuff to make a difference in not only my life, but your life as well. And maybe we haven't had that conversation and maybe you're not ready to hear this. And maybe for you, you know, you don't want me to do these things. And maybe we need to talk about that. But if you're on board with what I'm doing and you really support what I'm doing, I'm not feeling it. And I'm just not sure why. Simple as that. Now that takes courageous curiosity. I get that. I completely get that. But if you are not feeling in your life like you, your efforts are being appreciated, then say something. Because Stick It is the revolution to empower one million young adults around the world to break the mold. And sometimes that means having the courage to put your hand up and say you need help. And that's all this is. This is all this is. So I encourage you, if you do feel like your efforts aren't being appreciated, put your hand up and say something. If you want to know more about entrepreneurship and not getting engagement, feeling rejected in that space, let me know. Comment below. Otherwise, between now and tomorrow, when I come back with another live, remember to stick it.